Hi everyone, it's been a while, I hope you're all well. Um, it's been a long time since I've put an update on the channel and from the last video there was a lot of comments on there and people quite interested to see what I would do with my Black Bay Pro. Well, I'm going to say I've done a modification which I think is good. I quite like it, I've been wearing it with this modification the last couple of days. Very, very comfortable. Um, it gives the, the Black Bay Pro a new kind of look. Um, <clears throat> last year I purchased a couple of, I actually purchased quite a few watches last year. And um, <clears throat> I bought a Datejust 41 on a Jubilee. Oh, what a beautiful piece. I, I wish I had it here, it's actually in the bank. But um, if I had it here I would have put it on the video. And I also bought, I was introduced to the Speedy. Um, never had a speedy before. I've got the speedy here, and that this is a Hezolite. Um The bracelet. This was I actually purchased this before the um, before the date just forty one um, on the Jubilee, and I just loved this bracelet, and I loved the Jubilee. I've never had a Jubilee. I've never had a sort of. I don't know, like a, a a bracelet with many pieces, apart from my El Primeros. Um, so I really, really enjoyed wearing a bracelet with many, I don't know, what's the word, many pieces. They're very comfortable. And um, the Jake Just 41 on the Jubilee, fantastic watch. What a, what a lovely watch, I've got to say. So <clears throat> with the Black Bay Pro... Um, I've been looking, looking, researching, you know, reflecting on it. The the Cyclops um, would have been, was a cool mod, I think. Um, the only problem was, and it was mentioned in a couple of the comments, was that the magnifying, the magnification was perhaps a little bit too, uh, too strong, being 2.5, times 2.5. But then the issue with that was... Um, if I wanted to get something with less magnification, say 1.5, it'd have to be a mineral cyclops versus a sapphire cyclops. And you know, I I enjoy my Black Bay 58. It's got to be in, it's a quality. It's a it's a watch of a decent quality. So you know, I didn't want to um, put something that is uh, that is not up to the same level of standard as the watch onto it. So for now, I haven't gone with the Cyclops, though it is very, very tempting. And then the other issue would have been to drill the lugs, which if you, for example, look at a five digit Rolex, which we've got here, the lug, the lug hole is quite nicely positioned. Whereas on a Tudor, uh, they've actually put the lug hole slightly further out um, and on, on the Black Bay 58 that would just look a bit strange uh, sorry the Black Bay Pro would look a bit strange so I haven't um, I didn't do that either so you may be wondering what on earth did I do now I had to play around with a lot of straps which I'm going to do another video on um, because it is it, it's actually realizing my time with it it is a bit of a strap monster and being 20 mil uh, lug width I have loads of straps from other watches that I've got that I can use on it. So um, I'm going to do another video with a review of some cool straps for the Black Bay Pro. And now it's the grand reveal of what I decided to do. So here you go. I found, well, I was looking online and I decided to purchase an Uncle Seiko Jubilee uh, bracelet. And I've got to say, I am really, really enjoying this. Um, fant really, really good mod. Uh, not expensive. I think about 100 and... It's less than £150. Um, pretty uh, good value for money. Considering that you can easily change, change your back to the um, existing rivet sort of oyster kind of case uh, sorry uh, strap <clears throat> bracelet as i already have 
had an existing uh when i purchased my black Bane pro it came with the um it came on a bracelet i've also got the existing clasp what's really cool is that the uncle seiko clasp there is an option uh, sorry the uncle seiko bracelet can actually connect with your oem with your original clasp so you can actually use the um the kind of glide lock feature which if i'm honest with you I've not even used since I've been wearing the watch because with brace with uh, with the jewelry is always a little bit of stretch, and it's just so so comfortable. Um, really, really, really thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, if you can see, and it has just tra transformed the look of the watch. It's kind of really given it a cool vintage vibe. Um, it's still a tool. It's still got that toolish feeling, but it just I just really like it. Um, I was concerned that the the end link, the solid end link, would look a bit funny uh, when I've seen some of the Jubilee straps from uh, Strap Code. Um, they've got this really very, uh, I mean, almost like fangs on their um, their end links. But I've got to say, Uncle Seiko's done a good job. Um, done a very very nice job on this. Um, Honestly, it's good. I can't, I can't fault his work here. For the price I'm paying, it's decent. It's a good job. Um, it's very nice, and the fact that I can use the OEM clasp, awesome. I did see a video of another chap um, from the US who bought the presidential style um, bracelet because when he bought his Black Bay Fifty Eight, it didn't come. He bought his on a fabric, and he was using. Um, Uncle Seiko's standard class, which, if I'm, all, if I'm honest with you, it doesn't look that... looks all right, but I don't think it's that great. But uh, Uncle Seiko does give you the option, or Uncle, I should say, he does, he does give you the option to use your OEM class on both options, um, on the Presidential and on the Jubilee. So that's definitely something to consider. Um, as you go, there you go. I don't know if you can see. What do you think? I'm quite. I'm really pleased with it. I think it really wears really well. Um, just kind of gives a different, a different, different throw on the watch, really. Um, and you know, I just, I just like the old. I mean, the. I just like this watch because it's it's cool. It's 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 a Tudor with personality. I mean, Black Bay Fifty Eight, really nice, really good watch. The Pro, it's good, just a bit cold, but this is just just charming it's a charming watch um i have to say uh Tudor's done a great job you've got looking at it i mean you've got the old chamfered lugs as well very reminiscent of a five digit rolex of the old rolexes um no it's cool and regarding thickness it's fine um even with the solid end links on the uh jubilee bracelet i'm really not it wears as it normally does. Um, with regard to being, say, top heavy, I thought there might be an issue where it could just be like a little puck, where it just rotates continuously. To be fair, it hasn't. It it it's good. It's actually more comfortable than the standard, um, than the bracelet that you get from Tudor, which is a really good bracelet. Uh, but I'm actually finding this a lot more comfortable. Um, the watch just sits nicely on my wrist. Uh, again. I've got the additional functionality of being able to adjust the um, adjust the uh, the glide lock feature, which I'll show you. So you you can make it looser, but I've not really, I've not had to do anything for the last uh, two to three days since I've owned it. Um, that also might be because we've had a really it's been pretty cold. It's been minus one or two outside, um, so time will tell. If I do need to extend it, but I usually find that with the OEM bracelet, um, I probably change I change about three or four times a day. Um, whereas with this, I've not even bothered to. I'm not really. I think I've adjusted it maybe once. Um, so yeah, it's quite. It's good. Um, let me take it off and take some shots for you.
So I'm taking the watch off. Uh, connects perfectly fine with your existing clasp. And you can use you use the existing... Uh, one second, let's try and zoom in on that. Uh, safety mechanism. The bit that goes over the clasp. Um, it's cool. I think it, it really gives a different spin on this watch. It changes the character. Um, and for what, £130, £140? Definitely worth uh, worth getting. I'm just going to show... I'll pull this out for you. Bear with me. So I've pulled it out. Sorry, I'm holding the phone with one hand. So it's that you need two hands to do. Um, so it shows you you've really got the um, option to make it super comfortable for you. I mean, if you do really need to extend it, uh, it can be done. And I, oops, sorry, a bit too much for zoom there. Um, I, I think you'll be happy. I'm generally, I've, I'm, I would score this quite highly for the mod. Um, really has just brought a different kind of perspective on the watch. I'll take some more shots for you outside. Um, what do you what do you think, guys? Do you think it's worth doing? Do you like it? Do you think it looks odd? Do you think it doesn't really work? Have I butchered it? <laughs> what do you think? Um, give me a second. I'll take some more shots with it on me. As you can see here. It's a normal shot. It looks super, super flush with the OEM clasp, with the original clasp. And it's not too tight, it just has enough slack to move around. Just taking some pictures of it around the house. I think it's a cool mod. It's definitely uh, recommended. And if you purchase the watch on the original, oh sorry, without the original bracelet, this could be, I mean, it's definitely worth buying. Uh, uh, the presidential bracelet does look good as well. Um, I just thought, now I'm a new fanboy or I'm a convert of Jubilee straps. I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this and take a gamble on it. And uh, really, really cool. I'm, I'm liking it. Take some more shots of it. Just, I just love how smart it looks with the OEM clasp. Really, really cool. Chudo, if you're listening, maybe it's time for you to release uh, an OEM level of strap on a Jubilee. 2023 release. Wow, could be cool. A white Black Bay Pro a dial, sorry, Black Bay Pro dial with a white uh, face and a Jubilee strap. Oh gosh, that would be killer. Managed to take the watch outside, um, so you can see what it looks like in the sunlight. This is a really nice kind of sunlight now, not filtered at all. Sort of your winter sunset. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Really good job, Uncle. I'm sure you'll be thoroughly impressed. What do you think, guys? Do you think it suits the watch? Or do you think it looks... Nah. I'm a yeah. I'm loving it. Fantastic. Really good. Super, super comfortable. Super, super comfortable. Thoroughly happy with it change the personality it's really cool there you go some shots of it without the without it on just so you get an idea Really, really cool, in my opinion. 
you know, comment guys, tell me what you think. Would you do it to yours? Has it made you think, oh, I wouldn't mind doing that if I got a Black Bay Pro. Are you sitting on the fence about getting on? Ah, it's a good watch. I will try and reply to you. Please drop me a, drop, drop a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, looking forward to hearing from you.